Hey, so welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about the second service classification called the bound service. So the bound service is similar to a client server interaction. Here the service is act as server and the component which is bounded to it is act as a client. Okay. So here I am going to create a simple Android application that will demonstrate how to create a bound service. So first we have to create a service. So go to the package, right click the package and create a new Java class. I name the class as my service and click OK. So this is a service so you have to extend the service class extends service and you need to override the method implement methods here there is only one method is needed which is on bind method click OK so now here we are going to create a bound service so the only method needed is the on bind method and this method return an object of ibinder and the component use this object to communicate with the service okay so first we have to create an interface for the user interaction with the service so you can create the interface in many ways you can extend the binder class or you can use a messenger there is many ways are available to create the user interface sorry user interaction interface so now here i am going to make the interface by extending the binder class for that here i am going to create another class inside this class so public class i name the class as local class local service and make this class as the child of binder class okay now we have to create some public methods for the client so here I am going to create some public methods so public string get first message and return some string from here hello welcome all uh, now create another method another public method this is bound service example and change the method name into second uh, get second message okay so now we have two public methods within the service class also here I create an inner class called the local service that extends the binder class okay so inside this class here I am going to create another method this method return an object of the service class here the service class name is my service so the return type is the my service class so my service and I name the method as get service and this method will return an object of the service class so this will return my service dot this okay <clears throat> so now we have an inner class local service that extends binder and that class contain some method called get service and that method will return an object of the service class okay so now we have to create an object of i binder so from the on bind method so if this is a bind service if the service is a bind service a component can start the service by calling the on bind, ser bind service method if the component call the bind service method the android system will call the on bind method within the service class so from this method we have to return an object of i binder 
by using that ibinder object the client can communicate with the service class okay so here I'm going to create an object of ibinder so private final ibinder I name it as mbinder equal to and create this as an object of the local service class so create new local service now from the onbind method here I am going to return the ibinder object so mbinder return mbinder ok so if any client connected binder to the service will get an object of the local class that means local service and by using that object the client can call this method get service method and from this method the client will get an object of the service class and by using that object the client can call any method available in this service there are two public methods are available get first message and get second message okay so now we finish the service the service contain two public method and here the user interface user interaction interface is using the binder class okay so now we have to create some GUI for this application so go to the activity main.xml file here I am going to add some buttons so add a first button we need another button add a second button also need a text view add a large text view ok now go to the xml version here is the first button get first message from service now add text for the second button get second message from service ok so here is the text view no message from service ok go to the design now we have two buttons by using this button the client can get the first message from the service and by using the second button get the second message and here use this text view to display the message now we have to add some on click method for the buttons here is the first button and here I am going to add an on click method and row it on click first message uh, name it as get first service message now add an on click method for the second button get second service message ok now we have to add these two methods in main activity so copy this method go to the main activity dot java add the first method public void get first service method now we need to add the second method public void get second message second service message don't forget to add the view argument for this method ok now whenever this activity is started we have to start the service so before start the service we have to create an object of service connection so the service connection is responsible for manage the communication between the component and the service so the first thing we have to create an object of we have to create callback for the service connection so here I am going to create the callback for service connection private service connection I name it as m connection 
equal to new service connection and from this we got two override method on service connected and on service disconnected so whenever you whenever a component is binded to the service soon after the binding is finished the android system will call the on service connected method and the client will get the ibinder object from this method okay here we need to add a semicolon so now we have to bind the service so now we have to initialize the text view object there is a text view is available on the activity main.xml file so we have to initialize the text view text view equal to find the view by id and dot id dot text view typecast this one into text view okay so now we have to bind the service bind it to the service so first we have to create an indent object name it as indent equal to new indent first pass the context object now specify the service class name here the service class name is my service dot class okay now we can bind the service so just call the bind service method first you have to pass the indent object now you have to pass the service connection instance variable here the connection variable is m connection so you have to pass that one and the final one is you need to pass some flag context dot use this one bind auto create okay so this will bind the service to this component that means to this activity so soon after the bind is finished the system will call the on service connected method available with the service connection so now we have to create an object of we have to create an instance for the m service my service class so here i create an object of instance of my service class name it as my service also add some boolean available boolean is bind and initialize it with false okay go to the service class so when we bind to the service the system will call the on bind method and it will return an object of i binder the i binder object contain an object of local service so within this method that means service connected method we have to create an object of local service so local service i name it as local service equal to and here you get the i binder object from this argument service so service and you need to typecast this one into local service okay so now we have the local service object so by using this object we can call the get service method and from that method we got an object of the service class so by using this object here i am going to initialize the my service object so my service equal to local service dot get service Okay, now we have an object of my service class by using this object we can call the public method available in the service class there are two public methods are available get first message and get second message okay so now here i am going to get the message from the service so create some string variable here string message and get the message here message equal to my service dot get first message and display the message using the text view so text view dot set text message now 
look at the second message from the get second service message method called the second method get second message okay now we have to now here after if you bind the service and you have to unbind the service if it is not needed so whenever this activity is finished I have to unbind the service from this activity so here I declare a boolean variable it is false at the beginning so here here the binding is completed so here I make it into true sorry it is here so is bind equal to true so now from this method the service is binded to this activity so whenever the activity is closed we have to unbind the service from the component that means this activity so here I override another lifecycle method of activity on stop so use the on stop method so from this method I have to unbind the service from this activity so first check whether the service is now running or not if is bind is true means now service is running so I have to unbind the service unbind and pass the service connection object sorry here you have to pass the service connection object here the object name is m, m connection okay and make the variable is bind into false here also on service disconnected here also makes the is bind boolean into false ok now we finish all the coding for bind service yeah one more thing we have to add the service into the manifest file so go to the android manifest.xml file we have to add the service here so add the service with the name my service okay now we finish all the coding now we can run the application okay now we have the application available on the virtual device now here I am going to get the first message from the service so click the first button get first message from service here is the first message from the service hello welcome all now get the second message this is bound service example I hope you understand the concepts Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.